Well, most people are over-hesitators. Um, that's the way I think about it. When people come in and start talking to me, all I hear in my head is the phrase, needs work. And in order to work, it requires determination. And you have to know what it feels like, you have to amplify it. If you have a little picture of what you're determined about, you need to have a great big picture of what you're determined about. You've got a little voice that says, well, maybe you can. It needs to turn in that says, I'm absolutely going to do this. Uh, you know, I don't think it's nearly as difficult as most people make it out to be. And in fact, I've got four decades of absolute proof that that's the case. You know, every time I start a seminar, the first break, everybody comes up to me and goes, well, I like this, but, I'm, but I can't. And, uh, you know, it's only that, you know. And uh, whenever people say to me, it's just that I can't, blah, 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 that really means it's only that I can't blah, 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 which really means I'm not doing blah, 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 blah. And getting people to switch from moving away from to moving towards things is not all that difficult. I've modeled how people do it. I've studied successful people. You think like successful people, you get more successful at things. If you go in thinking it's genetic, which is what really in the 60s and the 70s I came up against, they were going, well, don't you really think, you know, schizophrenia is genetic and depression is genetic and, you know, and isn't the real thread that we go back into your childhood and find out how you got screwed up. And if you understand how you got screwed up, then slowly over the years you can change. Well, it was a great idea. We tried it for 100 years and it just doesn't work. A lot of people know they fell into a river and now they're afraid of water. Uh, but that if you could get terrified in 30 seconds, you should be able to get over it in 30 seconds. It's how you think about falling in the river that scared you for 25 years. It wasn't the river, because the river isn't here anymore. The river's back in Missouri someplace. You're in California now. So you have to change the way you're thinking and then wade out into the water and put on a pair of fins and flap around for a while till you get comfortable. And, you know, I've done this with fears of water and fears, and it's not till you get determined I remember once Moshe Feldenkrais, who's one of the brighter men that I modeled, he did body work, told me how he overcame his inability to eat pork, being Jewish. And he literally ate a piece of pork after he came out of the snow and starving for three or four days. And he had such a violent reaction to it, he vomited everywhere. And, and when he stood up, he said, you know, if I'm not going to eat pork for religious reasons, it's one thing, but it shouldn't have a violent reaction when other people don't. So he sat down and he ate a small piece and he just stared at himself, you know, and waited. And then he ate another piece and then he threw it up and he did that 13, 14 times till he could eat pork if he wanted to and then he never ate pork again. But it was the idea that he couldn't do something. And what determination is, is where you make this, that you go, this is who I, I want to be, this is who I can be, and you do everything in your power to get there instead of going, well, it'll never happen. And it's not that people have that attitude for any other reason other than they've been taught to diagnose themselves. You're the kind of person who, oh, we looked at your IQ test. You're not motivated. Oh, you had bad parents, blah, 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 blah. You didn't have a good education. Excuse me, uh, some of the most brilliant people that I've met in life didn't have a good education. So they figured out great things instead. Uh, you know, once you switch from making excuses and start living, you become determined. And this is what I strive to instill and inspire in every person I talk to.